coming to you live from HVNY. Today, we're not gonna focus on K-Trucks at all. First, we're gonna focus on these two STIs on bags. Shout out to DZ the GOAT. This thing is clean. It's like very clean. Like it's hard to even explain the attention and detail. Like if you know, you know. I'm not even gonna explain like this right here. But if you know, you know. Then right next to it, we got this pink bad boy. This is also very clean and sick. But we're not gonna talk about either of those. We're gonna talk about the Honda Beat and Suzuki Alto right here. So these are two K cards that I've always wanted. This one's a 1996 Suzuki Alto Works. I think these are one of the best K cars. As someone that's driven a cappuccino in Hawaii, it was super fun, but it's tight and it's not as comfortable. And it's only a two-seater, which as a Miata guy, I understand. But this is kind of a three, four-seater, still turbo, still fun, still a little hot hatch. They also come all-wheel drive. And this one is kind of all of that. This one just happens to be automatic. It has 132,000 kilometers. It's very similar to the Wagon R that I had. It just has some more buttons and a little nicer. Interior is very clean. Nice funfetti seats, power windows, of course. The only real imperfection is that little rust spot on the door, but it has a cool little spoiler. That opens, I'm sure, but it's locked right now. But I like this, I like these a lot. Definitely gonna drive this in today's video. And then next to it, we got the baby NSX. So this is a 91. And as someone who just has a totaled Miata right now, this could be a potential build on the channel. I wish it wasn't October, seeing how I'm not really gonna be able to drive the top down much longer, but this thing is nice. I think the biggest imperfections it has are like paint and kind of just accessories. Like I would definitely get some better rims. It's missing a shift knob. We don't gotta worry about that. Hit up all things JDM and get that fixed. But I like it. I really do like it. I drove right-hand drive Rons before. If you're watching this, Ron, what do you think? They want 8Gs. Maybe we talk them down a little bit, but it's pretty cool. The only real imperfections I see on this one, like I mentioned, the shift knob. It has two little rips right here, which to me aren't that big of a deal. But everything else looks clean. It even has these, which I see some beats have and some don't. If you have a beat, let me know if that's a big deal or not. But besides that, I like it a lot. It's not even really that bad. You can see all these lines, but that's really just dirt. I think after a nice wash, this one will clean up very nicely. But I think I'm gonna drive this one first, see how it is. And then next, we'll drive the Alto. Let me pop the front. I don't know how to open back here. I put the key inside, but it didn't go up. So I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. But if you don't know, the engine is behind your seat. It is mid-engine, but pretty clean. Close that up real quick. Let's start the beat. The way you put the key in is weird. Like, let me know, Honda Beat owners. Look how much I have to turn. It's like almost a 180. Starts right up though, which is a good sign. I don't want this test drive to go too good because maybe we'll leave the Delica here and come back in this. I just realized behind the seat, there's this little box. I wonder if that's part of the radio, but it would be sick to put like an Apple CarPlay right here. Windows work. Okay, okay, Honda Beat. You might, I might get my first ever Honda. Second time driving a Honda Beat. The first time was a right-hand drive Ron. I do have to say this car is a lot more spacious than a Cappuccino. Not as much as a Miata, but like, I don't feel like I'm in a small two-seater right now. With the e-brake. Ooh, almost all. The clutch is strong. I wonder if I can kick it and it'll go. Shopping. This is my homie Orm. You've driven in countless Miatas and stuff. What's your thoughts? It's slow. It's fun. But it's... It's smooth. It's yeah, it, drives, it actually drives really good. Like, look. 
How much time we got to be over here? They just can't see me stall. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know they had all this. Oh, it's a rat. I'm definitely trying to try. It's fun. I know. I, I like it. It's very, the transition is so, so, what are you in? Like second? I'm in third. Oh. I like it a lot, honestly. Like a lot. It has no shift now. I know, that's, I know. That's your only problem. I'm very confused where you're going. I'll let you drive right now. Uh, it's another ride. <sighs> I don't know if it has power steering. I feel like it doesn't. Is it hard? To drive? Yeah. No. Okay. Based I think alive. if you could drive the other cars, you can drive this. Alright. Someone who doesn't know how to drive stick is driving the car. Right, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Drop top. Let's go half, bro. <laughs> Let's go half and get this. Park it by the white car. Park it by the white car. By the auto over there. Honda Beat might be a purchase. Here we have it, the 1991 Honda Beat. You get it here too if you want. We're gonna now drive the Alto. This one's not stick, sadly, but it is very nice, like I mentioned. Let's start it up real quick. ETC reader too? Nah. Let me pop the hood real quick. All 660 cc's. I think this is basically the same motor that's in the carries and the Wagon R. Just turbo. This thing is sick. Needs a nice little freshen up too. Maybe a Blitz intercooler kit from my Jimny. But I like this thing a lot. Just take that off and paint it. That's no issue. But I'm not to driving it gas. So I'm actually going to drive this one a little bit. I feel like this car is even going to be faster. I know it's turbo and it should be faster. But I think it's going to be drastically faster. And now we have another person to let us know too. Alright now let's see what's good with this Alto. Day car this way better. It's like a much better version of my wagon R in every way. Might have some competition with this beat. I'm not the only one who wants it. How do you open this? Uh, I tried to do it um, with the key, but it didn't go up all the way. And I was not trying to find out. The hard way, right? Yeah. Or was I just being scared? Nah. Oh, it's like a. No, something's wrong though. Oh. There we go. Ah, uh, it just needs to be greased. Yeah, this is crazy. So here's my final thoughts on the two cars. I really like the Honda Beat. I think for 8,000, honestly, that's really fair. It's just dirty right now, so it might look a lot worse than it will after a good wash, but it doesn't have a lot of imperfections. Little baby things in the back, little baby things in the front. This little seat isn't the end of the world. I'm sure I can get another one or you just replace it. But I like it. I like it a lot. Do I want to buy it right this second? No, but it is a fun little car. I think it's a, the first time I drove a Beat. I guess myself, I drove it with Ron too, but I don't know if we had the top down. But the first time driving a K car just with the top down, it just, it's complete different experience. And then the Alto, it just underwhelmed me. I guess I had a lot of expectations coming in, but when it comes down to it, I would honestly rather buy this than the Beat just because it's a good everyday car. Even if it was automatic or five speed, it's just a lot bigger. For someone like me, I need the extra trunk space. I need the extra storage. And this one being turbo just gives me a lot more options. I don't really know what engine mods you could do this besides dropping a case swap, which is not realistic for me. So I know I get a blow valve. I'm gonna get like intake pipes and just make this car like the Jimny, but a hot hatch version. So I'm in this video here though. Thank you guys for watching. Nice little comparison between two classic K cars. And until next time, peace. Jail, is that you?